specifically about sumo robots that are in the nano class, which is about 2.5 centimeter cubed, or well, and smaller. Um, so it, um, I just uh, do the sumo competitions. Uh, there's different classes. So yeah, the the standard, or the I guess the most popular one I think is the mini, which is the uh, ten centimeters by ten centimeters, or one of the more popular ones. Um, but yeah, there's some that are um, as small as two point five centimeters, and some even smaller, <laughs> which is about one centimeter cubes. Um, so I have some examples of uh, some robots I found that uh, were around that size. So. Here's a one. So here's here's um, the size of it, and this is like the quarter. So it's quite small. Um, there, there's actually some, the, I guess, the schematics up on top here. Uh, so I guess each of this is a this is a side of the cube, different sides of the cube. Um, and uh, he, uh, talking about. Uh, how we're putting, putting it together and how we accomplish some of this. Uh, so the, here's some of the gear, uh, internal gears. And uh, he, he said when he was putting the wheels together, like they, they were so close that you, it looks like they're actually touching, but there's just a little bit of air getting through. Uh, so they would actually turn. <laughs> I'll just show some, some, more, some more pictures. Here's um, some of the smaller ones. So there's actually four of them here, and they're they fit into someone's hand. <laughs> um, and, and as you can see on this one, there's um, a little microcontroller on top. Um, I guess all of them have them in there somewhere. But there's one built that's about this size, which I can I'll show you later. So yeah, the, this is to show how, how uh, the size of it compared to a penny. So uh, the wheel is a little bit bigger than the penny. <laughs> so here's a, uh, an actual working model that I can actually prove works. <laughs> um, I, I, it looks like everyone leaves a similar kit. So it's uh, at mega eight. <laughs> so it's about 20 grams. And I can show you if it's actually working. So it, I mean, it, it's only about this big, like it's quite small. And it pushes it, pushes the robot out. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's not a robot, it's like a toy. <laughs> um, so and this is the guy who did this robot also had some, some prototypes beforehand. So he had one like this that he said didn't work out at all. Uh, it was power hungry, expensive, and useless sensors, but still fun to build. <laughs> so yeah, he tried a few smaller ones. And this one, I think, is, is a little bit bigger, the ladybug one. And, so, and, and I found an even smaller one. Um, which apparently fits on a dime. <laughs> so here it is on a dime. <laughs> um, and he, there's some, uh, what is this size? So here's the, this little ski paddock. 
And here's a similar, kind of what the frame looks like. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you would make a frame that size, but um, I can just show you the beginning of the video. Um, just see how small it is. So yeah, at first it falls off the table, but uh, <laughs> it actually uh, you can actually see it hit some of the. <laughs> so it's, it's, yeah, so it's not a very, it doesn't respond that well, but it can at least sense some things. So, um, and then there's um, this part that you can be used for this, this type of uh, robot. Uh, it has all the motors and, and the chassis, they're about the right size. How much is this thing? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a price. They actually sell that. Yes, they actually sell it. Um, the hardest part. And, and there's, they, they also have a show you the, the size of the motor. So I guess it's an M&M. &M. So that's the motor. <laughs> So I mean, all these parts can be bought, <laughs> um, and here's the actual uh, um, microcontroller. So it's got the Admega there, and this is, uh, I guess, less than 2.5 centimeters. So it's very small. It's about an inch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, just under an inch. Which Admega is that? It's an eight, Admega 8. <laughs> Bring the real down. <laughs> So yeah, there's lots of different, well, I'll, you kind of have to do it with these parts unless you could build your own parts similar to that. Um, yeah, I mean, someone had to come up with it originally. So yeah, this is kind of like a promo thing from the guy, the company that made the, cha the chassis, so. Um, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. Just to show like, the, size, the size of it. Um, at some point, yeah, it goes on a, hard, a floppy disk. So yeah, it's just going around the floppy disk. <laughs> Windows default music. Yeah, Windows default music. <laughs> yeah, and they, they kind of replay a lot of the same, same shots. So. But, uh, so they show, they show it a working one that responds to the environment. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much the same shots. Like, and then they're, like, I guess, promoting their parts or something. So the metal parts of the edge. Yeah. Yeah, they must have not had any other music to play. We just used the Windows default. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So that's, that's it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty fun. Yeah. All right. Else to do their presentation. They can view the video online. <laughs>